everybody and thank you for coming to listen to us all talk. Uh, my name's Claudine Gerard, and I'm, uh, I'm a professional archaeologist um, but I'm a volunteer with YAC so this is a really unusual opportunity for me to talk from the perspective of a volunteer and it's maybe given me a few new perspectives on when I work with volunteers. So just to introduce you, um, I'm sure many of you will know that the Young Archaeologist Club is the only club in the UK for uh, 8 to 16 year olds offering hands-on experiences and I think probably the important thing is that our volunteers come from a range of different backgrounds as well so there's people like me who are archaeologists um, but right across the sector of sort of yak there are people who are geologists, people who are teachers, people who are just parents who've got involved and who don't necessarily have a background in archaeology. Um, to give you a bit of an idea about Glamorgan Yak, ooh, um, we've got a variety of volunteers. Um, we started in 2005 over in Bridge End. We've had a name change because we've moved locations. Um, and our branch was formed uh, from sort of a collaboration with Groundworks, which is an organisation in Wales that works with communities and sort of various different sort of diverse groups. Um, and at the moment, um, we've had lots of different leaders over the years, but at the moment there are just three of us, two archaeologists and one geologist. So we've got differing views on what we should be doing. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is who uses Glamorgan Yak. And that's one of the things I've been thinking about. Who, who comes to us, what do they want from us, and what am I trying to do for them? Um, so at Glamorgan Yak, we've currently got about 30 members on our books, but on an average session we get about 15 kids come along. Um, and I like to think they all enjoy themselves. I do ask them at the end, have you had a nice time? And they always say yes. Um, but actually, I kind of want to know what our members want from us, because I've spent a lot of time thinking, probably because I come from it as a professional archaeologist, I sort of spend a lot of time racking my brains about what am I trying to do with Yak. Um, and actually, what's been quite interesting for me is to realise that certainly in Glamorgan, our members are largely actually coming from a home-educated group. So not so many traditional sort of schoolgoers. Certainly back in 2005, when I was volunteering, when Ellie, who's now left us to go to Scotland, was volunteering, most of our members did come from a standard school system. But more and more and more now, certainly in Glamorgan Yak, and I think talking to Jan about Brecon, that actually a lot of our users are home educated. And I had nothing, I, had, I didn't know what home education was. I've never experienced it. Um, but actually, I think it's quite interesting to think about what people who choose to sort of have an otherwise education kind of experience actually want and why Yak appeals to those people. Um, and as it turns out, there's lots and lots of people who do at home educate. And apparently you don't have to go to school. So feel free to tell your kids that. But you do have to receive an education. And I think Yak is uniquely placed to actually sort of meet some of the needs of that group. And I think that's why we're seeing more of that. Um, and I think Yak is also really appealing to that group because they're off looking for sort of home educated families, looking for a variety of experience and an experience that's free from because they perhaps have chosen to go out of the schooling system because they don't like the rigid structure that it applies. And Yak, because of our range of leaders, our range of volunteers and the experiences that are on offer in the sort of 70 or 80 clubs now, is that right? 70. 70. Um, you're not going to get the same experience from yak to yak. Um, and I believe last year there were sort of opportunities for about 8,500 children to engage in archaeology with yak, but no child is going to get the same experience. And I think that's actually one of the strengths of yak. Um, so I just wanted to take you through what Glamorgan yak is and maybe use this to click me on. So. For us at Glamorgan, Yak is about context. Um, oh no. Yeah, that's probably better. We do a range of activities. It's about helping young people understand where they fit in the world. And archaeology is a really great tool for doing that. And we just do lots and lots of things from the Mesolithic through to industrial archaeology. We go out, we get to see places, and we get to engage directly with archaeology. Yak for us in Glamorgan is about trying out scientific techniques. This is a session we recently ran where we looked at forensics, we looked at sort of the issues around what is identity and if you don't have a passport or other documentation how do you work out someone's identity. So we did sort of some facial reconstruction kind of stuff which was quite fun. Yak is developing skills. 
this is our group doing some Roman surveying, which was a bit ad hoc, but actually it worked really, really well. Um, Yak is people like Ellie, helping kids learn how to just be more hands-on and tactile. It's cooking, that kind of skill. It's sort of, that was a Tudor cooking session that we ran. Yak is using maps, that's tide maps. And actually that was a really successful exercise that people actually really enjoyed. Yak is experimental, certainly in Glamorgan Yak it's experimental. And it's also quite brave. Um, <laughs> all the children did return from that, it was Bryce, wasn't it? Um, it's brilliant. Yak is unusual experiences. We're really lucky in terms of Yak, of all the people that worked with us, that we had, was it a horse or a cow? I never remember. But it's about solving puzzles as well, giving these kids life skills and the opportunity to just think differently and engage with so many new experiences. Yak is creative. We do all kinds of arts and crafts, which might not be the most serious thing, but actually, I think it's really wonderful. Um, this is Stephen. He'll love this. If you ever encounter him, he now works for Wessex Archaeology. And I can't believe that he is now an adult. I emailed his mother the other day, inviting him along to a session, and she had to remind me that he's not a child anymore. Um, but we do all kinds of things and engage with all different periods. Um, Yak is about using your imagination. Uh, this is very popular with the boys, particularly. Uh, they love dressing up and sort of thinking about what life was like in the past, uh, different kinds of pasts, all kinds of things. It's active. Yak is hands-on. We're really fortunate in Glamorgan to have the opportunity to have a lot of good networks that we've got access to in terms of archaeological organisations and in our local area that are able to provide us with real experiences that we can get involved in field survey, field walking, that kind of thing. We make arrows, we have people come in, they tell us about their experiences and their interests, and people dress up. Yak is getting out into the field. We've been really lucky to be able to do lots of field walking with our kids, lots of surveying, geophysical work. Yak is about discovery, and I think that's really important. Really exciting, real experiences for our kids. And Yak, for me, certainly at Glamorgan Yak, isn't about educating our members and telling them what archaeology is. The strength of Yak, for me, is about us learning together about the past and what archaeology is. And in my abstract, I pose the question, should Yak essentially provide us with a more prescriptive curriculum of what we should be telling people about archaeology? And I don't think we should at all. I think the, the, the best thing that I've experienced really with the Morgan Yak is it's my growth as an archaeologist. I've moved from thinking that it should be done by the expert and we should be telling people what archaeology is and we should be covering off you know, specific topics. But actually over sort of the 10 or so, 11 years that I've been volunteering with Yak, I've learned that actually archaeology is what people create and tell me and what sort of the people, the young people that we work with think it is. It's not me as the expert to say to them, this is archaeology. It's about us all working together to try and understand our past. And it's a bit brief, but as I'm a volunteer, I'm hoping you won't expect him too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.